أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي ونسلم على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم أيها الحبة في السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله indeed a momentous occasion because for four, over 300 years Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with a beautiful community and society of Muslims in the most southern tip of Africa where we have been able to enjoy the liberty and the beauty of enjoying our deen of al-Islam in the most beautiful manner. We've come through difficult times of slavery, colonialism, as well as uh, the difficulties of apartheid, but now we are faced with some of the challenges of freedom. So despite coming from a beautiful context of I'm right with the possibility of being wrong, or you are wrong with the possibility of being right, we find today with our newfound freedom that many new concepts and ideas are coming into our beautiful land. Amongst them, when we disagree, or we disagreed about concepts in the past, we would have intensive debate, and we would, to the point of uh, vehemently putting our points forward. But uh, alas, we have come to a situation now where um, uh, Islam and the very um, uh, abilities and the possibilities of us coexisting and declaring each other out of the fold of Islam, the strange phenomenon has been imported into our country. It was something that we could have dealt with in the past also in a uh, respectable uh, manner, but uh, this foreign phenomenon that has come in whereby I declare or I give judgment on the state of your Iman, and this allows me to spill your blood, this has impacted on our community from a geopolitical point of view, and now declaring uh, or discussing these type of concepts has taken other dimensions as, as we have experienced in the recent past. So the Cape Accord is a direct consequence of this uh, condition and situation that we are living in. And last year after the successful program of Ummah in this array, a uh, few uh, independent organizations came together uh, to try and see how we can reclaim uh, the wasatiya and mainstream Islam from the fringes of, uh, of those uh, extreme and um, non-violent extremists and violent extremists to reclaim the mainstream wasatiya Islam so that we can leave a legacy behind for our children. And Islam that uh, does away with hate speech, with discord, with declaring any person out of the fall of Islam, and Islam where we cohesively exist uh, on the basis of ukhuwa, of brotherhood and sisterhood, where uh, the sanctity of La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is always maintained. So alhamdulillah, these organizations have come together inshallah and you'll be listening a bit more about that in order to uh, guide and leave a legacy for our community going forward. Shukran zazeelan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.